I'm so excited about the experience we had working together with the team in Xi Pen in the 2020-2021 periods. We had a series of uh, monthly meetings, and we were so glad to have members of Xi Pen come regularly to those meetings. Now we have a chance to work together on another topic, which actually started for us in 2019 before COVID. I first visited Angola um, in both Luanda and Kanani province in 2019, hosted by Xi Pen, and we talked about working on a project to use satellite data to address the drought, long-term drought cycles in Southern Angola. Now I'm very pleased to announce that my team at MIT, along with these collaborators, we have been awarded a grant from NASA in the United States with $550,000 over two years to collaborate with Xi Jinping to work on applying satellite data for drought management. And we will depend a lot on working with Xi Jinping as well as other agencies. And you can see we have teams from MIT as well as a co company called Blue Raster and a nonprofit research team called Research for the Future. And we bring engineering as well as scientific and economic analysis to this topic. This is a picture of my visit to uh, Canadian province in 2019, hosted by Dr. Zelana Joao from Gigi Pen, where we presented early examples of what we could do with satellite data, but that was just the beginning and now more work can continue with more detail. So we are developing a version of EVDT, Environment, Vulnerability, Decision, Technology, focused on the needs uh, for drought management in Angola, knowing that we'll need to collect data from satellites or other sources to understand rainfall, soil moisture, and looking at the actual surface water and how it changes in seasons in the Canadian region. And we'll make an assessment of which areas are experiencing different levels of drought. We'll consider the population information and ask questions around what kind of options policymakers can have to help support the communities during times of drought. And we'll ask if there's a need to design an information system that brings together data from satellites, ground sensors, and models, scientific models, in order to help understand how the drought's changing and influence policies to respond. Here, for example, you see two decisions we think we can help with over here on the far right. What routes and schedules should trucks use deliver emergency water supplies to high vulnerability regions in Canadian province? Number two, what locations should be prioritized for borehole improvement or other infrastructure projects to support regions affected by the drought? In order to do this, we have multiple researchers. Uh, Professor Dara Dekabi is a very accomplished hydrologist and expert on soil moisture mapping from space with the SMAP mission, which he helps lead the science team. We'll use data from SMAP and other rainfall estimates from satellites and from local uh, estimates. We'll make an assessment of the drought severity, both historically and currently in the new province. Uh, Dr. Takabi will also work on making forecasts of the droughts and we'll consider the economic vulnerability and impacts of the drought. All that will be brought together to make a website that can visualize the impacts of different scenarios of drought in the province and hopefully give information about these decision points. This is an example of our architecture summary highlighting that we want to build an Angola drought decision support system to influence those two decisions I mentioned, looking at routes for delivering supplies and locations for improving uh, borehole infrastructure. But I want to note that actually this is the very preliminary finding and we hope to do more uh, interviews and observations and meetings with the teams in Angola we, where we were going to be introduced by Gigi Pen to meet other agencies so that we can respond as needed and we can change these findings to have different objectives for an EDT system for the drought decision support system in Angola. To summarize, I'm very thankful to support from NASA and from Gigi Pen. NASA is providing funding so that our team can work with you all. And the Gigi Pen team provides the expertise and the introductions to other experts across the government. And we hope to uh, renew our collaboration and use these funds to help build opportunities for cooperation between MIT and GGPIN, and hopefully for making it easier for different agencies across the government of Angola and for other groups like nonprofits to make informed decisions based on integrated analysis that uses environmental and socioeconomic data in distance support systems and maps. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much.